2024 It's a Schoolboy football season kicks off on Saturday with a triple header at the Catherine Hall Sports Complex in Montego Bay. In the first encounter, live on CVM TV at 2 p.m., defending Manning Cup champions Mona High play Waterford in a Group B encounter. Brian Pitter has more. The defending champions will aim to hit the ground running on Manning Cup opening day. They have retained most of the squad from last year's title winning unit. We've lost two players from the squad and they've been replaced by young players that are top talent who have played three years of Manning Cup already. Mm -hmm. Players like Sean Layton, who is now at Genk training with the first team at 15 years old. And Chelsea, Aston Villa are all after this player. So that's the replacement for um, Ramar, Ramar and Thomas, who has, who's going on, he's in Portugal right now. So um, without um, saying too much, the truth is I don't think we've changed our squad at all. And with expectations high, Mona's technical director, Craig Butler, says his squad is fully prepared heading into the new season. Mona hasn't stopped training. We train all year round, which is what we want everybody else to do. Um, we've been training in Jamaica, and the younger players are playing in the St. Anne uh, Major League, the U15s. Meanwhile, the seniors are, are now being registered with the Premier League team that we have, and they are currently in England, Belgium, Portugal and Germany with Schalke, Genk, um, Rea Avenue, and they played a long, long summer of tournaments versus Aston Villa, versus um, Chelsea. Middlesbrough, Preston North End, um, Blackburn. So we're very excited about the future. I think the boys are really super talented. And last year, we, we didn't complete our mission. So this year, we're returning to do that. Having won their maiden Manning Cup last season, they are eyeing for more success. Well, Lenny got one up on me with um, Clarendon College. Yeah, I think Lenny is the best coach in Jamaica. Yeah. Um, and I think that he should be given the props that is due. He's very tactical, very good with, with his, his, his players. And um, last year, um, they got one up on us. I think next year I'll be the best coach in Jamaica. Meanwhile, in the second match, 2023 the Costa Cup champions Clarendon College played Denby High in the second encounter at 5 p.m. Clarendon College will be without several key players from last season, including Kahim Dixon, but head coach Lenny Hyde says the team will cope without those players. And the transition is good, you know, we have some players that were on the bench last year, get them 20 minutes and thing, and the 16 team did well also, so the transition has been great. It, it, and there's a little doubt in the experience, you know, when they get up to the big stage or the crowd and the thing, so that's what we are coaching, we have to deal with the mental aspect of these players now, because they can play, you know, they're talented, technically sound, but mental preparation is key for us this season. Season, to get them tough and know that they can win and believe in the system. You know. But I'm confident that we'll get it. The more games we play, the better the team will get. He's also expecting a challenge from Denby in their first Zone H encounter. It's a good team. I think they did well last year. So the first game is going to be a test for us and, and to see where we're at and how, how we have been preparing for this game. So we are respecting them and we are going out there to play some good football. In Saturday's final game at the Catherine Hall Sports Complex, 12-time champions Cornwall College face Herbert Morrison at 7 p.m. In addition to the triple header in Montego Bay, a full slate of matches are scheduled across both competitions on Saturday. Brian Pitter, CVM Sports.